Hello gentlemen this is Showman from Island Gas Field Quality Control today i came with a live demonstration of coal bending this uh, coal bending is generally done by the contractor at site only sometimes they put their machine on the right of way but sometimes they put the machine on their lay down yard they do it at their pace and later on it is being transported to the site before you go for the live bending demonstration I think you know that I posted another video of coal bending with the theories the calculations how to do the bending you first go through that video I will put a link on this video first if you go through that video then it will be very easy to understand the live demonstration uh, you will learn the theory on that video and then you can see the live demonstration here let us see the bending machine you can see in the photo then this is bending machine die die is rubber padded to protect the pipe external ab coating if the pipe is internally coated then we need to take extra care inside so generally pipe inside there is a mandrel you can see this photo the mandrel is also added with extra layer of padding if the pipe is internally coated to protect any wear and tear mandrel is generally put directly inside the pipe at the bend location to protect the pipe from buckle inside now let us go for the live demonstration you can see the bend test setup the pipe bending machine the bending is ongoing first of all based on the degree the pipe is being divided into few uh, segments from where the bend will take place let's say we need to do a 6 degree bend then the pipe is totally divided into 12 parts this is termed as byte per byte will have half degree of angle the less you bend per byte there is a less chance of buckle or dent on the pipe based on the diameter of the pipe degree per bend is being changed you, i am displaying on table over here you can see the limitations over there from one of our client but generally this angle is more strict or more less degree of bend per byte in case of internally coated pipe this is just for your information from my practical knowledge you can see the mandrel is installed inside the pipe A reason for this mandrel to protect the pipe from dent so this mandrel will be moved at the bend location exactly under the bend location to protect the pipe from buckling so one byte is completed you see it is going to the next byte for bending let us see what the operator is doing here the operator has a couple of uh, hydraulic control on his hand so he has some lever to release or hold the pipe with the bending die this is hydraulic uh, levers you can see they have to go through small bites you can see the sling that is holding the pipe pushing the pipe to the next bite through a winch fitted on the bending machine operator is controlling it you see the bending is ongoing you can see it is slowly moving the degree now it is going to the second bite again and you see the people are pulling the pipe out inside that is actually the mandrel they are putting in the position if the pipe is internally coated then the mandrel should also be coated outside to protect the internal coating of the byte internal coating we need to take care to reduce the bend angle per byte to protect the internal coating from cracking yeah again see pipe is lifting up that means the bending is ongoing okay this byte is done the die is released now it will move to the next byte both edge 600 mm minimum they will leave unbent to protect the ovality at the end if there is ovality then the pipe will be difficult to weld during weld fit up it will be difficult now the next byte again they will hold the die tight and they will apply the degree hello guys now you can see a small pipe 8 inch being bent Uh, in a smaller bending machine you can see easily how the bend is on going here so this is the final step uh, when the bend is done and then it is opened and being transported to the site hope guys you get a very deep insight of coal bending if you see my old video together with this demonstration 
I hope practically and theoretically you will be sound and after reading your client standard or international standard about the more specific requirement you can easily inspect a cold bending operation and of course when the bending is finished there will be a measurement how to measure the degree of the bend you can find from my video before if it is within the limit without any unacceptable dent or buckle the bend is being accepted and it is being transported to the site for installation sometimes i told you that the bend is also being done at pipeline right of way or inside the trains so this is for a quick correction for bigger dia it is very difficult to move the bending machine this is heavy so in that case generally contractor put all the bending machines and the bending action or operation at their lay down yard the surveyor takes the reading from the site of the bend degree it can be over bend it can be a sag bend or it can be a horizontal bend where the pipeline itself moving to a different direction thank you guys if you like the way of my teaching please don't forget to hit the like button and share my channel to your friends who really wants to know about pipeline construction signing off showman for today